So yesterday I went over to my parents' house to help my mom do some stuff with my grandmother with like taking care of her and stuff. And I went through my storage closet that I have there, which is just my old closet in my bedroom that they've kept kind of like a time capsule for me because I mean, they don't have any other children. I'm an only child and my grandmother has another closet there to use. So I've just stored a lot of my clothes over there that I forgot about. So I went through half of them. I still have a good bit to go through. So if you're interested in seeing the rest of the haul after seeing all these clothes, which I'm sure you will be because this is all such bangers that I used to wear and have during middle and high school back in the day. So I definitely have more to show you and I will try to remember to do a little bit of B-roll to show you like a little tour of my old bedroom. It's super cute. Okay, so first up we have a ton of the pink dogs from the early 2000s. They were sitting on one of my shelves in my room. I had so many. I don't even know if they still sell these, so these are really cool. They're still in great condition because they were just on my shelf, like I said. This next one is from 2001, San Rio. Okay, so cute. Punk Hello Kitty. It says, if I hear the word cute one more time, I remember wearing this all the time. And it just has a little bit of a stain right there, but I'll try to get it out. If not, I'm sure someone will want it with the stain. But honestly, I sold my last punky Hello Kitty one and I kind of regretted it. So the stuff that doesn't fit me and the stuff that feels a little too sentimental to get rid of, I might just save for my future daughter. But yeah, so... I'm gonna try, this definitely will fit me. So I'm definitely probably gonna wear this, especially when I dye my hair dark. This will be really cute. This one is from 2005. It's a Inuasha girls style t-shirt. Cool graphic on there. And then it has that on the back. And here is the tag if anyone's interested. This was walking right into a time capsule. I haven't been inside that closet in so long just because every time I go over there, I just don't think to like dig through my closet because I'm always over there for other reasons and like hanging out with them or taking care of grandma, you know what I mean? This one is a super simple kind of boat necky off the shoulder air apostle crop little maroon wine colored sweater. Such a cute little basic. This Hollister, they just don't do it like this anymore. This Hollister striped little button up fitted cardigan. If that fits, might have to keep. Another Hollister banger, back when the graphics were really good. This inside hood is like a waffle knit. Good hoodie. Now this one is amazing. This is an Angels brand pleated jean skirt. How cool is that? I'll probably end up like selling this or putting this in a bundle probably, but how freaking cool. Such a grail for the McBling girlies. This one is old Victoria's Secret pink and it is like a more cottony terry cloth material halter dress that can be strapless and have it tied like I have it here or you could like tie it around your neck as a halter. And then the polka dots, they have like the little dog in some of them I think. No, it spells out pink all throughout the little polka dots. Super cute, so I'll probably save this for summer and sell it. This one is by the brand Fang. I have a couple pieces from them and I always used to find this. This one just says um, the California Love Festival 1973 on the front, really cool font. And then, oh, the back is just too good. This one's super cute, this glittery long sleeve Tinkerbell. And then on the back, it has this glittery graphic that says beauty. Okay, so this one, I remember wearing all the freaking time. It looks like it's gonna be too small for me, but I might have to save this for my future daughter. It's Freedom by Next Era, literal classic. And it has this antique car and then it's like kind of a slight glitter graphic that says red cherries. I think it says red cherries, yeah, restoration. How freaking cute is that graphic? So if it fits, we'll rock it. If it doesn't, I'm gonna have to put it in the time capsule wardrobe. I just love, I just love old car graphics. This one is from Canyon River Blues. It's a good brand to look out for. It's this cute little 
striped halter neck, striped like going out top. It has this number and glitter, super cute, really stretchy. This SpongeBob graphic t-shirt and it has these mesh camo sleeves, really cute. Oh my gosh, this is so funny because I'm blonde now, but when I was younger, I was a brunette. It says, I had a nightmare, I was a blonde. That'd be really funny to wear right now. Very ironic core, you know? Classic Happy Bunny graphics as you are icky and the bunny on it does have that glitter graphic on it. This one's adorable. This one's an old mud and it says player on it. It's giving very, you know, knockoff Playboy. Love that little bunny graphic. She's so cute. That one would definitely fit me too. Next we have this rave little cropped corduroy brown jacket. Super cute staple for the fall and winter. A little layering option. Okay, this brand is Nolly. This is an old like PacSun brand. It's like a surf dirt bike brand, I'm pretty sure. Can't remember, correct me if I'm wrong. But it's this super cute like broho style with the uh, slight like diamante like rhinestones right there. And I love all that like pink exposed stitching. And then it says gnarly down here. And then it's got that really cool like zipper pull on it. I remember wearing this all the time too, this Hollister hoodie. It's just a nice thick cotton hoodie. I used to wear the crap out of this one too. This one just is the same vibe, just no zipper on it. It's a really good material hoodie. I'm so mad these are a size small. I'm gonna have to probably sell these, but these are a Duckhead Jeans Co brand, which is so funny that it, these are so cute from that brand. They have this exposed stitching and they're like these flares and this cute little butt pocket. But yeah, the vibe, it has the duck head with the crossbones on it. I, these are just so cute. These are a size small. So if you're interested in these, just let me know. This cute little old navy, Y2K old navy, little dog with a soccer ball, baseball tee. I remember wearing this one all the time too. This little wanted best friends little t-shirt with the dogs on it. Adorable. I really hope this fits. It looks like it's going to be too small. I might have to save it for my future kid. This old no boundaries. It says mango mania. Such a random fruit t-shirt, but it's really cute though. Have to admit. I have this super cute double layered limited two long sleeve. It has these metallic unicorns on it. I love the colorway and I love the unicorns on it. Probably going to keep this for myself because it is a youth XXL. So it'll probably fit me, probably like how the t-shirt I have on right now fits me, which by the way, how freaking cute is this shirt? Recently thrifted this. We have another old Hollister hooded sweater. It's like a cable knit sweater. The quality back then is just superb. This is gonna be too tight for me too, probably. If not, I might have to keep it because this is amazing. Yeah, it might be too tight, but we'll see, we'll see. Another amazing Y2K brand, Trixie. Love that brand. Just this really cute, super stretchy, textured, ribbed. I hope you can see that texture. I think you can. I think the way it'll fit is like kind of like boat necky. I'm really hoping this fits me because I'm looking for more shirts like this. And I love that like polka dot and stretchy texture going on. This one I totally remember wearing all the time from transitional like middle to high school. Definitely, this got a lot of wear. This is another fang piece. It's a double layer. This is like um, a white t-shirt sticking out. Look at that graphic. This one says it's from 2004 actually. And it's got some glitter still on it. This is in such good condition. I'm so glad my parents let me keep my storage over there. So this one's from 2005. My mom had like a thing for Felix the cat. I feel like a lot of moms have a thing for Felix because Robbie's mom also had a thing for Felix. It's just a super cute little guy, you know? So I used to have a lot of Felix branded type of stuff and like plushes and stuff. I recently got a baby tee that's in white from One Sick Kitten on Whatnot but I found this because this is exactly what that other one reminded me of. I am so happy I still had this. I think this is gonna fit me. So if so, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to keep it. 
but look how cute the graphic is. It's in such good condition. Here's that little Felix tag on there. Love. This one's here, I'm not sure on, but it is on an older 2000s, like mid, like late 90s, 2000s changes tag. And it's Care Bears, the Lucky Bear. And it's a stretchy hooded long sleeve. Oh my gosh, it's too cute. And it has the number seven on each freaking sleeve. Blowcore, what? Oh my gosh, it's so stretchy. <gasps> I think it'll fit. I'm gonna have to keep, I got a whole new wardrobe just shopping my closet. It was so funny, my mom was in there hanging out with me. I love my mom. She was like, look, it's like thrifting and it's already curated and you don't have to put anything back and it's already paid for it. I was like, you're so right, girl. And yeah, let me tell you, like I was in a hurry trying to leave and I had to like keep being reminded. My mom was like, hey, I don't mind, but like, don't you have to go? And because I kept, I like had like a total complete like high going through that closet. It's like when you hit the jackpot at the thrift and you just keep hitting and finding good shit. It was like that, but even better because I didn't have to put any of it back and look at my budget because didn't have to pay for any of it. My mom was like, please take it. <laughs> this one's so cute and random. It's a Levi's, like the jeans brand. So here's the old tag. All these have a great paper tag on it. So it's a Levi's, but look how cute. Oh my God, like my style back in the day, I'm telling y'all, I was, I was, I was that girl. Like, how cute is this? There's a couple of rhinestones missing, but who cares? Again, might have to keep, <laughs> I'm getting a whole new wardrobe, but that just means that I'll be having a definite closet clean out of my personals, which I already was planning to do anyway before I went through all this stuff. But now it's definitely like, yeah, <clears throat> you definitely need to have a closet clean out. I'm definitely getting rid of some of my like graphic tees and band tees and so is Robbie. So we'll have a good drop of that. I'll probably put those on my website and Depop because they are a little bit higher priced stuff. But some of my personals, that are kind of like what I've just showed you or like this or something, you know, I might either do, I'll probably do a clean out on my website and on whatnot. But for my per other personals that aren't like higher priced t-shirts and stuff, I'll probably sell them on whatnot. And if you haven't already signed up for whatnot, go ahead and use my link because if you're planning to do so anyway, if you sign up with my link, instead of just going on there by yourself, you could get free $15 to use towards any of the lives that you come across. It doesn't even have to just be mine. So definitely get some free money for using that link. We have another self-esteem and this is like a little cold shoulder vibe. I love this. I'm definitely gonna keep this for myself, I think. I've been looking for more like little basics like this. It says California on it, which I don't really care for that much, but it's still kind of cute. It's not too gaudy. And it's got that subtle like cold shoulder moment. So I think it's really cute. We'll see how it works out for me. If it's too tight on me, I'll probably sell it and whatnot. We have another self-esteem, a cute little bunny shirt that says what's not to like. Too cute. Okay, so it's like so funny that I found this this week because I swear, what was it? I wanna say like five maybe max days ago, me and Robbie were talking about like when we were younger because I found my old laptop and we were going through some of my old MySpace and Facebook pictures, which I definitely wanna show y'all later because they're classic. And I was mentioning this, sh this shirt that I just found and it's so funny that I found it. I thought I had gotten rid of it. It was like at the very back of my storage closet. So here is the tag on it. It's a Shrek 2 tag. I definitely got this at Hot Topic back in the day when this came out. So it's a cute little Puss in Boots baby tee. It says, fear me if you dare. I have to keep. This is definitely gonna fit me, so I have to keep. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? That is so funny that we were literally this exact week talking about this shirt. And he was like, wow, that's insane. And then the last top I think that we have right now is this Billabong little zip up jacket that I'll probably keep for myself if it fits me. I just like the spell out across. I remember wearing this all the time. I can't believe it's not a more faded black. So it's that and then it has um, Billabong and like cursive on the sleeve right here. So yeah, that'll be a really good basic to wear. I found these glow jeans. I love the wash of these. I really want to find some in my size. So if you know, back in the day, Glow was a good 
pair of jeans. And then that's what the pockets look like. Nice little flare. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I found some little gauchos with a paisley printed waistband. I remember wearing these literally all the time with like ballet flats. Can't believe both of those are back in right now. <laughs> and then here is an amazing pair of rave girl jeans that I had back in the day. Look at that wash. Oh my gosh. And then the rhinestone detailing on the pockets. I remember wearing these all the time too. I also found some old athleisure. These are old American Eagle little lounge gaucho flared capris, whatever you want to call them. So upset these don't fit because these would be such a vibe. I also found these dollhouse little flared capri leggings. Love that little dollhouse logo. And they have little slits down there. These are too cute. So if you're interested, if you're like a size small, let me know. These say large, but they're 14, which is like a kid's large. So definitely for a size small best, I would say. These are old navy, size 16. So a kid's extra large again. Just a little, another pair of more flared capri vibe. I also found this Aeropostale fur lined zip up. Absolutely yes. Such good condition. I remember getting this for Christmas one year. And then I also got this for Christmas the same year. The Hollister white puffer jacket. Oh my God. This was such it girl vibes. If you know, you know. Oh my gosh. Everybody wanted this back in the day and I feel like everybody wants it again. It's so funny. So yeah, these will be for sale soon. Just gotta clean them up a little bit. Found some home decor to bring over here as well. This cute little velour purse, little tiger striped moment. It's a lamp. This was on my bedside for the longest time. So I just brought it here because it goes with the vibe of my house now. Oh my God, also I forgot about this shirt, this pink panther shirt that was mine. And it says pink 64 on the back. Oh my God, look at this pink panther tag. It says it is from 2002. I love when tags date things. Makes it way easier on me. Oh my gosh, okay, this tote bag, I like totally forgot about for a second. Brass knuckle tote bag. You're joking, I remember carrying this all the time in middle school. Okay, also randomly, my mom in my closet, I guess, I don't know, had stored away too. My, I remember like seeing a picture of myself in this one Christmas when I was a baby. This vintage mini little Christmas with the feet on the sweater. How cute is that? So I'm gonna keep that for my future kid. I found this with a lot of expired makeup in it. It's this old Victoria's Secret little like velour purse bag. And then on the inside of the closet, I had some posters hanging up and one of them was this Napoleon Dynamite. It was like falling off. So I decided to bring it home and put it in either my office or out in the garage where Robbie has his like man cave area. Perfect little Napoleon Dynamite. I was obsessed back in the day. Let me know down below what your favorite was from my time capsule wardrobe closet from the 2000s era. I can't wait to style some of these pieces. It's gonna feel so reminiscent and nostalgic to wear some of these.